Hi, everybody. So I wanted to talk a little bit about trust because it can be a really difficult thing for me with my anxiety um, and being hypersensitive. I'm very very emotionally fragile and easily hurt. Uh, and then there's my anxiety that's just the fear of being judged and of being hurt that makes it really hard for me to open up in the first place. So if I do open up, then it's a really, like, a big deal. Um, and then losing that feeling of safety can be, like, instant. Like, one wrong move. And no matter how much I liked and respected you beforehand you're suddenly just another person on the list of people who make me anxious. And that's especially true of authority figures, such as, like, my professors at college. Like, one wrong move, and you'll make my anxiety so bad that I'll never be able to trust you again, which has unfortunately happened. I was kind of put on the spot by one of my professors who I really liked and respected. And this was at a time when my anxiety was really bad because the first psychiatrist I had been seeing had just told me that she was leaving. And I was just terrified of this prospect of having to find a new one and start all over again and it took it took my heart rate days to settle down after that time so I was already like in extreme anxiety mode and then I got put on the spot and I couldn't say anything you know and she got frustrated at me for that so Needless to say, that uh, relationship went way south after that. Um, now with people that I'm kind of like on an equal level with, it's not going to be nearly that drastic because if we've got some good two-way communication going, then we can talk about it and the other person can realize you know what they did to make me anxious or what they said and apologize and learn from the mistake and then yeah I can trust them again because I trust them that they're learning because just by doing that they're proving that they care for me but with authority figures. My anxiety is already high to begin with. So it's even harder in that situation to even establish a two-way communication for me anyways. And I think they're just harder for me to trust in general because of my anxiety. They're just, the way I perceive them, just they're a level above me. I, it makes it rough. I think it's a common social anxiety problem having anxiety around authority figures. Um, I, the kind of the thing that inspired this video was 
my therapist who I've been seeing, she kind of misunderstood a situation and misspoke. And it really struck a nerve because it attacked like two of my worst anxieties, which is um, the first one being that I'm too sensitive, and the second one is the fear of abandonment, you know. So that really just was overall not good, and that just... I've just been depressed kind of for the rest of the day. Um, and it just got me thinking about trust issues and why it stung so much, I guess, because I had opened up to her and just one careless remark, you know, is pretty much all it takes to tear a hypersensitive person such as myself down. So I'm, I am hypersensitive, I feel things too deeply. I absorb negativity like a sponge, and betrayal is gonna just cut me to my soul, and I guess I feel betrayed because I trusted her, you know, not to say the stupid things, and I know that she's only human and that she can make mistakes and so I'm not really like mad at her for it. I'm just really disappointed and I don't know uh, where to go from here, I guess. Because like I said, one wrong move and you kind of just get moved to that list of people who just give me anxiety and I know she's not quite an authority figure because like she's my therapist you know she works for me I pay her but now my anxiety just thinking about her is just kind of going you know danger danger um and I've been seeing her for a little over a year now, so I guess I'm just really bummed trying to consider what to do. Um, I'm probably going to see if I can move past it. Try to trust her. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to address that little mistake just because of my anxiety, you know? That's kind of the hard part, I think, about being the therapist of someone who has social anxiety and is hypersensitive. You just, you have to be so careful what you say. And I think sometimes I just put on too good of an act for my therapist. And I know it's been a problem with previous therapists where I put on too good of an act because I'm used to having to act for the world like everything's fine and that I'm not uh, dying inside because of my anxiety. And opening up gives me anxiety. So, you know, how am I supposed to even do that in the first place? Um, I don't know if I should just look for a different therapist or give up on therapy altogether. Just stick with my psychiatrist and uh, self-therapy, you know. I feel like I've done a lot uh, just to help myself recently so I don't I don't know what I'm going to do yet 
um, in my experience, trust issues can just be very hard to overcome. Um, I stopped going to my first therapist because they kind of spoke over me and I kind of felt like I was being told this is how it is and that is not a good quality to have as a therapist and so that did absolutely nothing to help. Um, the second therapist I stopped seeing because I never just, I didn't click. I never became comfortable enough to open up. And the longer I went without opening up, just the more anxiety I had about it. And so he wasn't really able to help me at all because I couldn't open up. My trust issues were too bad. And that's why I really liked this third one, I guess, just because I felt like she listened to me, you know, and helped me at the same time. And now I don't know how to move past this. Trust is just that difficult of a thing for me. And I mean, I was like in tears because of what she said, you know, your therapist really shouldn't be making you cry like that, at least. Um, I mean, I've talked it over with a lot of different people. Um, it sounds like she just really misunderstood the situation and was not thinking before she spoke and it's a mistake but that's the problem with therapists is you open up and they are suddenly in a position to do a whole lot of damage by a simple mistake thank you for listening